Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. Let us do now one question of trend income statement and balance sheet. Let us read a question. Calculate trend percentage from the following information extracted from financial statement of Messrs. Pranita Limited after arranging in vertical form. Assets, fixed assets, investments, these are long term investments, current assets, liabilities, share capital part of shareholders fund bank loan part of borrowed fund current liabilities now let us read income statement net sales less cost of sales net sales minus cost of sales we got gross margin less operating expenses finally we have arrived at operating profit Messrs Pranita Limited trend income statement particulars actual amounts 2012 2013 2014 percentage 2012 2013 2014 net sales as given 40000 44000 48000 Less cost of sales, 30,000, 36,000, 36,000. Gross margin, 10,000, 8,000, 12,000. Less operating expenses, four thousand, two thousand, three thousand six hundred. Finally, we get operating profit. That is 6,000, 6,000, 8,400. We have arranged vertical income statement. Now we'll proceed for trend statement. For that purpose, we are required to select a base year. 2012, 2013, 2014. Here base year is 2012. So all the values pertaining to 2012 will be taken equal to 100. We have taken base of 2012. Accordingly, all the values are taken as 100. Based on this, we'll be calculating values for 2013 and 2014. 2012 net sales is 40,000. 2013, that is current year, net sales is 44,000. To arrive at value at this place, our simple formula is Current year 44,000 divided by base year 40,000 multiplied by 100. It is 110. 2014 current year amount is 48,000. 
48,000 divided by 40,000 multiplied by 100. It is 120%. Cost of sales 2013 36,000 divided by 30,000 multiplied by 100. 120 percent in 2014 also cost of sales is 36,000 divided by 30,000 multiplied by 100 we'll get same value 120 percent gross margin 2013 it is 8,000 divided by 10,000 multiplied by 100 it is 80 percent 2014 gross margin is 12,000 divided by 10,000 multiplied by 100 gross margin for the year 2014 it is 120 percent next operating expenses 2013 it is 2000 divided by 4000 multiplied by 100 it is 50 percent 2014 it is 3600 divided by 4000 multiplied by 100 it is 90 percent 2013 operating profit is 6000 2012 operating profit is 6000 both the year it is same so it will be 100 in 2014 operating profit is 8400 divided by 6000 multiplied by 100 it is 140 so we have completed income statement let us proceed for balance sheet Mrs. Pranita Limited trend balance sheet 2012-2013-2014 absolute amounts 2012-2013-2014 percentage. Let us start with the first part of the balance sheet that is sources of funds. Let us start with the first part of the balance sheet sources of funds. We have arranged balance sheet in vertical format shareholders fund share capital 2012 52 200 2013 61 200 2014 73 800 borrowed fund we have bank loan 2012 10800 2013 10800 Application of funds, first item fixed assets 2012 43200, 2013 45360, 2014 54000. To this, we will be adding long term investments 2012 3600, 2013 1800, 2014 3600. Next, we have working capital, current asset minus current liabilities. Working capital for 2012 16200, 2013 24840, 2014 30,070. Total assets 2012 63,000, 2013 72,000, 2014 88,380. We are required to prepare a trend statement. Therefore, base year will be selected 2012. All the values corresponding to the 2012 will be taken as 100. We have taken all base values 100 for 2012. 
now we'll be finding the percentage for 2013 and 2014 2013 share capital is 61200 simple formula is current year 61200 divided by base year 52200 multiplied by 100 it is 117.24% 2014 share capital is 73800 divided by 52200 multiplied by 100 141.38 borrowed funds 2013 10,800 2012 10,800 same so it will be 100 2014 it is 14,580 divided by 10,800 multiplied by 100 113.38 Total funds 2013 72,000 divided by 63,000 multiplied by 100 114.29 percent 2014 88,380 divided by 63,000 multiplied by 100 140.29 Fixed assets 2013 fixed assets 45,360 divided by 43,200 multiplied by 100 105% 2014 54,000 divided by 43,200 multiplied by 100 125 percent investments 2013 1800 divided by 3600 multiplied by 100 it will be 50 percent 2014 3600 divided by 3600 so it will be same 100 percent current assets for 2013 60,408 divided by 48,600 multiplied by 100 124.30 2014 current assets are 70,380 divided by 48,600 multiplied by 100 144.81 percent current liabilities for 2013 35,568 divided by 32,400 multiplied by 100 109.78 percent 2014 current liability is 39,600 divided by 32,400 multiplied by 100. 122.22 percent. Next working capital 2013 24,840 divided by 16,200 multiplied by 100. 153.33% in 2014 working capital is 30,780 divided by 16,200 multiplied by 100 190% total assets 2013 72,000 divided by 63,000 multiplied by 100 114.29 percent 2014 88,380 divided by 63,000 multiplied by 100 
140.29 percent we have prepared vertical income statement and balance sheet and then we have prepared trend income statement and balance sheet thanks for watching this video stay in tune with ikeda and subscribe to our channel ikeda thank you